Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm going to show you my KP Extreme Drift. This is a rear wheel drive drift tune for this Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat from 2021. This is my share code. Do you have it? Great. I was babbling along there. Either way, moving on. I just made the video of my master all-wheel drive drift tune for this vehicle. It has 1,107 horsepower. Definitely check out the video. It's, a, it's a, you know, you learn things. But right now, I'm going to show you guys my rear-wheel drive version of this Durango Hellcat. Let's get into it. It is an A-Class. They both are. I wanted to make sure that they were both A-Class and not into um, S1 class. I wanted to be a little bit different. So, that's what I did. All right, so let's go through the build and show you guys everything I put onto this thing. All right, so this has the 7.4 liter V8 TT. The all-wheel drive has the V12 engine in it, okay? This one has the 1750 horsepower engine. It was a little bit more difficult, not really difficult, just technical to really build um, in tune is what it is. We'll get into it. It's got the real drive drivetrain, of course, on here. Okay. All right. There's nothing in the front. All right. And nothing in the rear. I wish they had a little bit more uh, options on here, but it is what it is. We're going to keep on moving forward. Tires are all over the place. So we're going to cover all that here right now. We got snow tire compound on here to maximize that slide. All right. We have the front tire width is as skinny as possible. As you can tell, the back tires are thicker. Or wider whatever you want to call them all right and these ones are maxed out just to help it out because I tried to use the thin tires on here and and tune it and it just kept spinning out having issues with it so I added a little bit more tread to it really it, it fixed it it fixed the issues all right I mean hey this thing doesn't have a drift kit on it so you got to watch out for that all right here we have a heavier rim on here keep it down in a class you know of course, it weighs 5,344 pounds, but it's got 1,750 horsepower, so there's that. All right, so I'm not really worried about the weight of the vehicle. All right, we have 21-inch rims in the front and 21-inch rims in the rear. I figured that was a good number to have. All right, then we have maxed out track width in the front and maxed out track width in the rear. Yeah, the rear wheel drive is a little bit more... Uh, intensive to tune for drifting um, but hey I think I figured it all out we do have a uh, race transmission 10 speed all right to handle all that power we have a race drive line and we have a drift differential at least we have a drift differential in here I wish there was you know a drift kit but it is an SUV it is what it is we do have race brakes on here all right and we have race springs. As you can tell, there is no drift kit. You got a rally, suspension, and stock. So I went with the race uh, springs and went with it. We do have uh, race anti-roll bars for the front and race anti-roll bars for the rear. All right, there is no roll cage, nothing like that to add any more weight than needs to be on there. We do have a street weight reduction. We are saving only 168 pounds. It's not much. But it is what it is. If I try to save 1,095 pounds, as you can tell, it would take me up to S1. I didn't want an S1. I wanted a 800 class for both my rear-wheel drive and my all-wheel drive. I wanted it to be different. And we have the race twin turbo with anti-lag. Let's see if it gives me flames. Ah, it does. We got flames on there. All right, you don't need to have the, the anti-lag in there. I just like it because I like the flames. All right. It is what it is. All right, car mastery for this thing, as you can tell, I haven't touched it, but they have a whole bunch of stuff here um, for you to pick. There is a lot of empty space. They could have added a little bit more into uh, this vehicle. It is what it is. Now, here's my tune. It has a top speed of 240 miles per hour. It's very fast, but it's got 55-55 to maximize that slide. Gearing, as you can tell, it goes all the way down to the end, but it it's, it it's all works together. All right. I mean, you got a lot of power pushing out of this thing. I know I really had to work the gearing to deal with that lag from the turbos. It's got 1750 horsepower, and you're still going to have lag with this engine. It is what it is. 
there isn't much you can do with it. Um, but I, I, I worked it as best as I could. All right. Now, the alignment, I decided to do this. I, I took this tune, this rear-wheel drive uh, alignment from the Mitsubishi um, SUV that just came out like a couple weeks ago. Um, so I did that. Um, and it, it seemed to work quite well. So I decided to stick that tune, that alignment, on this car. Vehicle. SUV. CUV. I think it's more of an SUV. It's an SUV. It really is. Into roll bars are 32.50 for both. 32, 32.50s. All right. Springs, I, I was all over the board with this thing, but I decided to say, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to make it as stiff as possible for you guys and, and did that. I did make sure that the right heads was exactly the same. For some reason, the, the rear end can get lower than the front, and I just I didn't want that. All right, especially if you're in car view. You know, you want everything to be level. That's the whole reason why I do it. And just in case you guys are in the vehicle drifting, all right? You don't want to have to be trying to look over the hood in a video game because you can't actually, you know, raise yourself up and see more of the road because everything's fixed. Moving on. Dampening is 20, 20, 1 and 1, all right? There is no downforce to worry about. Brakes, I just left it at 50 and 100. And then differential is 21% and 100% D-cell, 21 X-cell. And that seems to work wonders. Now, this thing's great. I love this thing. I, I love how it drives. I love um, how it is. Uh, like I said, there is lag. We will deal with that. All right. It, hey, I just wanted to have the most powerful engine. Keep it in A-class for you guys. Um, but we'll go over all that here right now. As you can tell, it. It does take off quite well. All right. That added tread in the back really helps. Oh, there's so many people here. I got to say something. There. I'm famous around here. All right. Now, it doesn't have a drift kit, so you're going to have to be careful with this thing still. All right. I did the best I could with this thing, but if you get too sideways with this thing, you might not be able to correct yourself. Just saying. All right, it doesn't have the front tire angle to um, protect you. Um, so it is a little bit more of a challenge to drift, but that doesn't mean it's any less fun. It's a blast. I love this thing. And I've hit some good numbers um, on this little drift section with this vehicle. So, you know... All right, there's a 42.1. My best I've gotten with it was a 44.7, um, I think. See, there's that lag right there. It was there. I was floored, and it wasn't going anywhere. All right, we're, we'll see if I can um, trigger the, uh, the lag. All right. But it's got plenty of gears, the handle, all that power. We're going to come down here. I'm going to switch it back. Hit it in second gear and see if I can initiate that lag here. All right. So here, there, there, there's the lag right there. All right. I'm floored right now. As you can tell, the horsepower is slowly picking up. There's that torque. All right. It's in fourth gear and it's taken off. All right. You got to wait until that boost takes over. All right. So... Depending on what gear you're in, yeah, there it is, right there. There's fifth gear right there. I get that. All right, we drop it down the second right there. There we go. We're back up and running, you know. Depending on what gear you're in, you know, you might have some of that. But as long as you don't stop and you keep drifting, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. But it, it's got plenty of power, plenty of gears to play with. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I do love this thing, and I think you're going to like it too. So I'd like to know in the comments below which one you like better. There's there's that lag. See, there's a second right there. And you got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait. There it is. Got to wait for that, that boost to kick in. All right, look at that. But yeah, you guys going to have to let me know in the comments below which one uh, you like better, the rear-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive or both. Maybe you like them both. Uh, I'm hoping you like them both. But, uh, yeah. Rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, it's wonderful. But, yeah, uh, 
You know, if only they had front wheel drive. Just kidding. Either way, moving on. Let's get back into the garage. I was going to give this thing a different paint job for the rear wheel drive, but I really like this orange and I didn't want to get rid of it. Um, so there's that. Um, so I used the same paint for um, both videos. And I mean, that's what I wanted. I mean, I had this thing, I had this thing set. All right. So. Yeah, I, I was able to make it perfectly orange. It's like a matte orange. Uh, um, I really worked on it. Um, you know, I went through here and I went down and I found the paint job that I, you know, the matte. And then um, I tweaked the colors. And then, of course, you know, um, you can't change the color of the uh, mirrors, which is okay, you know. All right, you can't. There's no spoiler to do. As you can tell, I put a carbon fiber um, on the on the on the rims itself just to keep them um, dark, and I also did it to the uh, calibers, and then um, I gave it a black uh, tint. So that's what I did, and it looked really good. Um, and I just didn't want to, um, you know, change it. So it is what it is. Um, super, super fun vehicle, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Um, one thing I want to point out on this car, I can't open up the hood. All right, we're going to do that. It, it just looks off to me. I think it looks like the engine is to the right. I, I, I don't understand it. Um, I was looking, I was like, hmm. So here, let's just do this here. Yeah, you add a lot of power. It's 710 horsepower, and then I it's basically I just added a whole nother thousand horsepower to the vehicle. Um, it is what it is. But uh, if I look at the actual, you know, maybe it is in the middle. Huh. No, oh no, it's not. It's not this vehicle. It's all right. It's all right. Never mind. Scratch that. I'll show you what I mean, because I, I have another Durango, and it's not the SRT. Let me show you guys this thing, all right? So if you guys want to see the difference between the two, all right? So you got this one. This is the uh, Durango SRT there. Um, I have a couple of them. I have this one right here. It's my uh, off-road rally for B-Class, um, you know, so there's that. Um, but if I had the stock one here, it's just... When I looked at the the engine of this thing, um, it, it, it was just like it, it it throws me off. Like this thing, it just looks like it's more to the side than in the middle of the car. I, it, it might be. In, it just doesn't look like it's in the middle of the car. It seems like it's off off center. It's really weird. Either way, you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this is the. Uh, you know, this is the non, um, you know, Hellcat version. Um, and, and it comes with, um, you know, uh, I think 475 horsepower. And the other one comes with uh, 710. Um, yeah, so 475. So it went from 475 horsepower to 710 horsepower. That is a huge, huge jump. All right. But, hey, this thing's still got a top speed of 173. That's not too bad. You know, for a B-Class all-wheel drive, you can't complain about that, you know. So, yeah, there's that. I have, I have a couple of these because I've been, I've been thinking about working on um, a couple more builds. I was actually going to put my SRT um, Hellcat uh, tunes on this car to see how well it does um, and just see where that goes. Like I said, this thing right here is my um, B-Class. Um, you know, this would have been nice if they did this to the, uh, the Hellcat. If they gave me a wide, you know, body type of kit on there, really make it nice off-road ready, you know, machine. Um, but like I said, this thing is my B-Class, you know, and it's got, you know, uh, 522 horsepower with 1,155 foot-pounds of torque. It's pretty much a diesel, um, engine in there. Uh, I think that's what I have in there. Yeah, I have the 6.7 liter V8 T diesel. They don't give you that option for the, uh, you know, 
the SRT. They do give you this option. You can you can use that same engine in there. You also have a 6.5 liter V12. That's a nice engine. I like this engine. I really do. Um, but yeah, uh, I have a diesel in, in this one. But um, and, it, and it works wonders. It's got a great top speed, great zero to sixty, and it's for off road. Um, but yeah, look at that. This thing has a nice wide body kit. All right, look at that. They could have easily put a wide body kit onto the um, you know the other SRT um, Hellcat Durango. It should, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, it is what it is. Um, as you can tell, I have just you know a good you know basic tune on this one. It's very basic. All right very basic all right and then there's the the differential you can see there's that 21 100 that's what i was using for my real drives i'm telling you i use this for racing as well this 21 100 it's not just for real drive drifting it's for racing as well it works perfect for some reason it makes the uh vehicle turn harder when you need it to turn on a dime that 21 100 works wonders and that, that's pretty much all this thing really needs just needed some tire pressures differential and it's set to go so there's that well hey guys I, i'm sorry i was rambling along there i just wanted to show you guys what i what i had what i was doing um but yeah it it's wonderful um so yeah here it just comes back stock so here let me i just gotta go back through make sure my yeah look at look at the power increase yeah, I, I threw on another 1,000 horsepower, 1,040 horsepower into this vehicle. That's what I did. And, yeah, it, it's unreal. Um, to me, it's hard to pick. Um, I love the, uh, the KP Extreme Drift. As you can tell, you can see there it says points, second, third gear. It's always good to see the description of what I, I put on there. What I see are the highlights of uh, the car. Now, this thing has a 10-speed. I'm not saying second and third gear. I'm just saying points. So it's pretty much w up to you guys. All right. But I'm going to throw back the rear-wheel drive on there because I think I like this one the most. It's a lot more. It's a lot more challenging. That's why it's called KP Extreme Drift. It is what it is. But yeah, it, it, it's fun. Either way, I just made a very long video, and I'm sorry. But I wanted to rant on about things. Well, I wasn't ranting. I was just talking. It doesn't matter. Either way. Well, hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this vehicle. I'd love to hear from you. And, you know, I, I answer every question I possibly can for you guys. Uh, I enjoy it. I'm always glued to my phone. So if I see someone pop up, I'll respond. All right, guys, take care and stay sideways, my friends.